Well, good morning. What's up, guys? Welcome back to March Madness and the vlog. Today we are packing up. I think we are, this will be our final time leaving the farm here in Dover. We're heading a little, about an hour and a half north east of here, going to Claremont. It's a resort called Clairebrook. And we're still kind of be bouncing around the central Florida area for a little while. But it'd be nice. It'd be nice to get on the road a little bit, you know, do something different. Good, my buddy. Mike back here, he's about to be rolling out to his next destination. Looks like it's moving day for a lot of us. Let's get all this crap packed up. Let's get on the road. because we have been sitting in the farm for a little too long. Now it's time for us to head on out. Our first stop today is, well, our only stop today, I think, is Claremont RV Resort. So, without further ado, let's get rolling. Odd thoughts and some dusty dreams And we seem to find common ground Yes, everyone's got their own sound Never cared much about fitting in What's right or a sin But as you stand before me I give in Picture frames last So now you're telling us that we are not allowed to stay here. Right. So where are we supposed to go? They can find you another park. There's no, another they won't. Park. They're booked. So how? Well, if that was the case, why doesn't it say it when you send over the rules and everything? I don't send over rules. Like whenever the the packet comes in, the email says, "Okay, you're booked." And you're they good do to go. that to you. They do. The, they they do the book, and we don't send you anything. So. You're kicking us out. Like, we're not allowed to stay here, even though we have the Encore membership. We're telling you that you're not allowed in So here. we are not allowed to stay in this yes, park. Yes, because we have a bus, and our bus is completely, perfectly normal, has an RVIA sticker yes, on it, everything. Yes, I told you. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. So we are being kicked out of this RV park. We are being told we cannot stay here. We do not have anywhere else to go. They will not allow us here. And so they're kicking us out because we have a bus that has an RVIA sticker. We've met all the requirements that we're supposed to have. This is the Clairebrook Golf and RV Resort. Claremont, Florida, don't stay here. Don't stay here. Now we have to call Thousand Trails and figure out what we're gonna do. So I just asked for a number um, because Thousand Trails, I got Thousand Trails has a 1-800 number we have to call. And right now, Thousand Trails, it's like an hour wait for them to call me back. So the Clairebrook Golf and RV Resort was just so rude to me. I'm asking them for a number and then he's like, you need to get out of here. I'm asking you to leave the property right now. And we're parked right here because we literally have nowhere to go. We're out in the middle of nowhere and literally have nowhere to go. And these people are 
so rude and terrible kicking us off the property. I should add that we pay extra to have Encore Parks, this park that just turned us away, we pay extra to be able to go to those parks as a Thousand Trails member. We made the reservation through Thousand Trails. We've been to Encore several times, and so she's saying that we are not allowed to stay in a park that we pay to stay at. Already had the reservation. Reservation's been booked for like, month and a half, two months now, and she just gets to pick and choose who gets to stay there and who doesn't. There is so much discrimination around here, and we're gonna drive around to get out. He told me that because our rig is older than 10 years, we couldn't stay, that was the reason. And so I asked if I drove around, would there be rigs in here that meet that are older than 10 years? And then he started yelling at me, telling me that I'm refusing to leave. I'm like, I'm not refusing to leave. I just have nowhere else to go. So what am I supposed to do? So this is kind of what happens in Florida. There's discrimination against our bus and who we are as people. We don't have anywhere to go. All of Thousand Trails is booked. Like, what are we gonna do? We have no idea. Already in driving through here, I see rigs that are much older than 10 years. That one, that one is much older than 10 years, but they're in here. We can't stay here, but that rig right there, older than 10 years. They're just discriminating against us because of we're a bus. Again, this is Clarebrook RV Resort in Claremont, Florida. Do not stay here. Like, this is ridiculous. That one right there, that rig is older than 10 years old. And they were insanely rude and terrible and mean and just, they were awful. The one man I couldn't press record in time to record the conversation, but he was just terrible. Absolutely terrible. That one, that one's older than 10 years. Right now, I'm on hold with Thousand Trails and they're trying to see if they can find a spot for us. They have um, in Eustis, so Southern Palms. What do you want to do? Uh, TTO. I can ask her again to check. Like, we've never been kicked out before, ever. When she comes back on the line, I'll update you. As I'm sitting here on hold, I just got this come through. It's a text from Hello Fellow Campers. Michael, your membership specialist here at Clarebrook Golf and RV. They're asking me to upgrade my membership to Thousand Trails. So the place that just kicked us out is asking me to upgrade my membership to this place. Like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, you're literally going to text me just as I've been kicked out. It does Thousand Trails Orlando have any availability? Um, or let me pull them up real quick. We have the 9th through the 14th. Um, they're sold out the night of the 14th and the night of the 17th, but all the other dates are available. Um, all right, I'll go ahead and do that. Well, you have a great afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye. right now just got here to Thousand Trails Orlando they let us in we've been to several encore parks we've been to Thousand Trails cross country we've been to several encore parks never been kicked out now we're getting to deal with the backlash of that luckily Thousand Trails the girl that I spoke with her name was Gabby she was so sweet wonderful she was able to kind of rearrange our reservations for us what a dumpster fire. We've got to sit here in the queue. I believe this is our guy right here. We sit here in the queue until he takes us over to our site. So hopefully we can get D section away from B field and I will report back. Well, this is interesting. I guess Kyle hopped out of the bus and they're going to go look at sites while we stay right here but it looks like they're going that way. So maybe 
they'll have a D-section? Well, it looks like we're not getting the D-section. We will be back here on B Field. Hey, while this guy is making dinner back here, why don't I show you where we landed? So earlier, when we left off, we were driving around the park. Once we got here, we were just pooped. We were tired. It has been an extremely long day, but check out our view. We've got a pretty, uh, pretty Florida sunset going on over here with the palm tree in the background. This is the site that we ended up in. We got Starlink going, Bodie the van is here, and with this, Let's go check and see what Kyle is making for dinner. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Took the smoke yeah, detector off. The most crucial part to making dinner around here. This is the most sensitive smoke. Like you can say, I don't know, something about that hall and it just like drafts down the hall and this thing goes off. So if you cook anything, it goes off. You can light a candle and it goes yeah, off. Yeah, basically. So I just sit over here until I'm done cooking then I put it up. So what you making? We're just doing bowls. Oh, the huge? Yeah, like Mexican bowls. Yeah. After today, we need something simple, huh? Yeah, I'm exhausted. Let's get to making bowls. If you ever need me, baby, just call me. I waste no time, love. I'll come straight to you. Now the river's wide, dear, and the road is muddy. Even if I got swim, man, you know I'll be there soon. I love you like a garden underneath the rainfall Moving off a heat wave in the summertime Are you the kind of woman a man to get used to? I'm the kind of man that I want to make it mine If you ever need me Let's go ahead and assemble the bowl. So what do we do first? I guess technically it's a plate tonight. So we got cilantro lime rice. Take it over here and get some protein. Chicken. Ooh, yeah. This is for Molly. She called first bowl. Sour cream. Lots of sour cream. Some Fiesta blend cheese. She likes a lot of cheese. Yes, she is. She's a cheesy girl. Uh, she does like lettuce. Lettuce be together. Get her a little more chicken. There we go. Woo! And that is uh, Molly's bowl. They are having an eat in your bunk night. It's been a long day. Me and Kyle, this table right here, we're gonna have a little us time, some alone time, and sit here and hang out and eat our bowls because we're hungry and it's been a long day, right, babe? So how was your day, honey? We were just sitting here chilling, you know, after dinner. And you pulled up their rules from earlier, didn't you? Yeah, nothing says anything about any age limits, any types of RVs, nothing. I mean, there's no information regarding what type of RV you have to have. I mean, they just cover st policies, cancellation policies, pet policy, campground service information, nothing. So not one thing about a 10-year rule or that they don't allow that in their parks, right? That's it. Lovely, right? Are you going to write a strongly worded email tomorrow? I think I might. I think you should too. It was just wrong on so many levels. Like, they knew we didn't have anywhere else to go. They just didn't want us staying in their park. That's the first time that has ever happened. In three years, over three years of travel, we have never been treated that way and kicked out like that before, especially with zero rules saying that we couldn't stay there. I think we're gonna go hop in the bed, right? Yeah. Cause we're tired. I'm tired. So don't forget about March Madness. Um, the prizes are getting better. Camp Margaritaville in Auburndale, Florida is offering up a week stay or a four night cabin stay at their beautiful luxury resort in central Florida. That we didn't get turned away from. That we did not get turned away from. So <laughs> that's exciting. That's a part of the contest now. So it's shaping up to be a pretty awesome giveaway. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Dakota Meeks was last seen on September 11, 2022, missing from Webster Gross, Missouri. Born on November 21, 2009, 13 years of age, black male, brown hair, brown eyes, 5'10 and approximately 135 pounds. 
Again, Dakotas were last seen on September the 11th of 2022. If you have any information to the whereabouts of Dakota, please reach out to the Webster Groves Police Department at 314-963-5402. Let's see if we can try to help bring Dakota home. So now you're telling us that we are not allowed to stay here. Right. So where are we supposed to go? They can find you another park. No, well, they won't. They're booked. So how? Well, if that was the case, why doesn't it say it when you send over the rules and everything? I don't send over rules. Like.